Hi there, Edu Prado here, and today I'm going to make a quick walkthrough of our extended mandolin library, which is our new collaboration with composer Jan Fitzer. The previous one we did with him is the Sake Bottle library, so if you don't know that one yet, go check it out. I'm going to leave a link here on the top or in the description. And this time we decided to bow a mandolin, and this is kind of a continuation of our extended series. So we already have the acoustic guitar extended libraries. So if you don't know those, also go check it out. So it's kind of the same idea of, of bowing an instrument that you usually wouldn't do. So if you were wondering if bowing a mandolin is a good idea or not, you don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> we did that for you. So you can check it out here. And it comes with basically four instruments or four different NKIs. So you, you get the extended mandolin bowed, we have also the bowed motion, then you have pads and the pad motion. So let's get into it and take a look how it works and, and what kind of sounds you can get on this library. The extended mandolin has a similar interface to the sake bottle, so we kept the same control panel here so you can get familiar with it, but we also have a mixer for each of the patches. So the bold NKI comes with six unique patches, so with different articulations, and also an extra patch just for the release. So here on our control panel, you have the space, which is the reverb control, so you can add and remove your reverb and adjust the size of it and the level you want. And in the drop-down menu, you can pick from six carefully selected impulse responses that we like for this instrument. Then you have a width control that you can make the samples wider or narrower. And you have a cutoff knob that's always very handy for this kind of string instruments. And you also have an envelope control where you can adjust your attack and release for the samples. And here you have a spin control that you can add some Leslie box emulation. You can control how wet or dry you want the effect and if you want it to be fast or slow spin. So this can be really cool and really useful as well for, for effects and sound design. Nice. And here decide you have the mixer. In this instrument, we decided to put all the patches together, all the articulations, so you can get very creative and create your own sound, blending each patch as you wish. So it comes with a long patch. You have the cone sword, which is like a muted long patch. The supont, which are the samples played close to the bridge, so it adds a lot of high harmonics and it keeps moving as you hold the note. There's also a tremolo patch. That it's great for creating tension or build up effects. And then you have a couple of short patches, which is a spiccato and the colenio. And the colenio, which is hitting the strings with the wood side of the bow. Which is really cool. And here in the end, you have a release patch. So you have that lovely tail of the string 
when you stop bowing it. And you can also use that as a patch in itself just with the release sounds. And for me, the best thing of this library is actually to blend these patches and create your own sound. If you have a MIDI controller, you can learn the MIDI automation here and control it with a fader. And you can get very creative with this. So with that idea, we created the Bold Motion NKI, which has on the background each of the articulations modulating by themselves. So you're always going to have something different happening. It's a very easy and quick way to get a very nice motion to your sound. Cool. So the next NKI is the pads, which is the same structure, but it comes with four different pads, each one here on the mixer, and it's the same controls, but instead of the width, you have a drive knob. And all the pads were created from the bold samples of the mandolin. So they keep that same character and the same raw quality of it. And each pad is a bit more processed. So you see that they get intense as you move from left to right here on the pads. Next we have the grain patch that uses a little bit of granular synthesis. Cool. And the last one is the glitch, which is even a bit more processed, so it's a, like a heavier pad. Another cool thing you can do with the pads is actually play with the envelope. So you can get not only this very slow pad sound, but also a short plucked pads. Which can be pretty cool as well. And with the same idea of, of creating motion, and in an easy way for you to actually have a very interesting pad sound, we have the pad motion, where we have each of the pads modulating by themselves on the background. So you're gonna always have something new, always have some motion going on, and you also can mix how much of each of the pads you want for this.
So let's check it out. Awesome. So that's it. We're very excited to bring to you the extended mandolin. I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>